Hello friends, my name is The Real Emil and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 5. Now, if I want to go A-Class Racing here in Forza Motorsport 5, I look no further than this. My Maserati MC12. This is my A-Class car of choice for a number of reasons. One, it's extremely nice to drive. I mean, extremely, extremely nice to drive. There is absolutely no faults I can think of in the way this thing handles. It's great. Actually, tell light, there's a little bit of understeer, but other than that, this is a fantastic driving car. It's also got a decent amount of straight line speed. Uh, as a result, this is not only my A-class car of choice when I need to go racing, I love it for hot lapping as well. I just, this is my default A-class car. Now, the problem with this car is it costs 620,000 credits, and plus all the parts I've added onto it, maybe about 700,000 credits. Which got me thinking, how little money do you need to spend on an A-Class car? Now, my budget for this is going to be 70,000 credits. I feel that's going to be enough. I tried building with 60, but it doesn't really work. So we're going to try two budget cars, and we're going to see what we can come up with. Now... For this money, we need to sort of start off around A and B. We will need to go with something either four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive. So let's select them. Now, looking through here, you can see there's a bunch of cars that are over our budget. Like this LFA, 380,000, SLR, 330, 110 for the Diablo. We need to start looking a bit cheaper. We could just buy the Corvette Stingray, but it wouldn't be too effective because, obviously, it costs quite a lot. So we need to find the absolute cheapest of the cheap. Which could possibly be this Lotus Lease. Audi TT. Hmm. That could be a possibility. A Ferrari F355. There's not enough room for upgrades on that, unfortunately. A Lotus. Could be too twitchy. Corvette. Meh. Bit too wallery. Now, this is sort of what I was looking towards. The 99 Dodge Viper. 48,000 credits, which, to be fair, isn't too much money in the long run. And, yeah, we'll see how well this uh, competes. Can we get a decent paint job on this? Let's just try and search up for uh, replica. There we go. You don't ever want to search the first term because that's usually just what people name them. Okay, that's just 48,000... So we'd have 23,000 credits left on upgrades for this car. Once we've bought it. Oh, I'm not even going to bother with that. Where's camouflage? Yes. There you go. It's a Desert Commander Viper. Oh, God, everything's falling over today. <laughs> okay, so 23,000 credits. That's not actually a lot when you think about it. Racing tyres, for example, cost 10,000 credits. The cheapest engine swap for this will be about 45,000 credits. It's not an awful lot. So we're going to have to be a bit sparing on this. And the first modification I want to make is weight reduction. Because this Viper does weigh a little bit. It's eaten a few too many mice. There you go. Right, so, so next we're going to need racing brakes. <laughs> Again... Fairly obvious why this is an old American or oldish American car. It's not that old, it's 99. But yeah, it's still going to need them. Uh, race suspension. I would usually go for street on one of these, but uh, apparently, race is the only one available to us, so we will buy that. Let's just turn that in. There we go. 16,000 credits left. Now, do I want to go race tyres? Or do I want to just go with the sports? Now, the sports are much cheaper. But... Eh... It's a Viper. It could try to kill me. That would leave us with 6,000. You know what? We are going to go for the uh, racing tyres on this one, I feel. Will possibly be the best option. That leaves us... With something... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I screwed up the calculations. I believe it was about 6650. I will have to go check. Anyway, let's us go and have a look around. 
for aero parts. Let's see if there's any we actually want on this. A wing. Do we need a wing? Uh, no. Not yet. Hopefully not. Get out of the way. <laughs> there we go. Five grand for that. Uh, anything else that offers a decent performance? Ooh, that's something I haven't looked at. Conversions. Yes. Turbos. 1800. Yes, fantastic. Right, 1800 for some turbos. Now, usually I would have gone for this, which is apparently race springs and damp. Ooh, I could actually go for that. No, we'll stick with the turbos on this one. Last time I tried to build one of these with a supercharger, it didn't really work. Another thing that didn't really work was building one with a stock gearbox. So, 2,400 for that. There we go. That leaves us with 2,450 credits. Let us go and have a look what we can get for that. We could get that. Or we could not get that. <laughs> now about... Ooh, 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 can we, can we, can we, no, cock. Actually, do they really take three, six hundred away, or not, I don't know. Yes, that gives us power, okay, 2,200. There we go. So, that's the Viper built to a budget. We've got 250 credits left and yeah hopefully this doesn't try to kill us I, I can imagine it will but I hope not there's a can you even fit anything in there I don't even know okay let us go and do some quick tuning improvements uh, it, that's why we're doing tuning improvements look at how far the gears are out there we go sit there that's nice isn't it yes 205 Viper Okay, we are going to take this to, actually no, let's take it to Yas Marina. And purely due to time constraints, we are going to give this car two laps to set its quickest time. And then we're going to switch over and build another A-class race car and see if that can actually beat it. Now my original plan with this was to put the Maserati on here as well and sort of compare and contrast them but if I do that I'm going to do that off camera just so I don't waste too much time on this because I did try and record one this before off the line we're all right actually uh, I did try and record this before and it just went on for way too long so I'm trying not to go on way too long on this one uh brakes oh god there's no brakes in the viper the viper has no brakes <laughs> whatsoever oh uh, god okay so it's kind of messed up its first lap, purely due to the fact the brakes absolutely suck. Uh, putting its power down though, it's good. What? <laughs> so the brakes were one part of the Viper I was kind of hoping would be good, but it turns out the Viper's not very good on the brakes and it's actually got understeer, but it can put down its power surprisingly well. I'm driving absolutely atrociously. Come on, get turned. There you go. There she goes. All right. Power. There we go. Good. It's good. I like it. It's not half bad. Which is a good thing. Yeah. Seriously, putting the power down in this is surprisingly good. It really is quite good. Right. It's on to the first of its power laps. Let's see how well it does here. Now, brakes are terrible, so we're going to brake at the 150 meters board. That's way too far out. Uh, you could break about 125 meters in. I don't think you could go at the 100 meter board. It doesn't like the curbs. It really doesn't like the curbs. That's something to bear in mind. But yeah, I this Viper is extremely surprising. <laughs> it oh my god, it can put down its power so wonderfully. Silky, it's smooth. It really is smooth through here. Oh god, All right. Get it stopped into there. Yeah, let's drop it down into first first. See how well it does out of first. Yeah, you can get some wheel spin out of first, but you can just slam on the power. <laughs> this is uh, the most surprising car I've never driven 
almost ever. I mean, it's really quite good. You dude. Good viper. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you wouldn't bite me in the ass, and it turns out, apart from your breaks, you're really good. I think that might be down to the fact this could possibly do with the front tyres slightly widening. I think once that was done, this could be extremely effective. It really is rather good, this car. That's absolutely 100% spot on. It's not like it's slow either, it's fairly quick out the corners. I don't know how much quicker it is compared to other A-Class cars, but... Yeah, this is, uh... It, the wipe is scarily good. It really is scary. A toddler could drive this car. Wow. I never thought I'd say this, but, um... Apparently, if you're just getting into A-Class racing, and you've only just picked up Forza Motorsport 5, and you're only just learning without the assists on, this Viper isn't half bad. It really isn't. All I'd do is upgrade the front tire whips on this. And perhaps maybe attach some front aero to keep the understeer to a minimum. But yeah, across the line, 108.294 is the time it gets. That's, um, that's quick. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Viper, you really are a very, very good car. Okay, let me just make a quick note of that. Actually, I've got a pen here. Let's see if I can do this without making too much noise. Okay, there we go. Righto. Let's go ahead and build another one of these A-class cheap cars and we'll see how well it does. Now, I am, in fact, going to be a bit controversial on this one, I think. I think, I think, I think. I'm going to go for something four-wheel drive. A more... Ooh. I was going to go for the TT, but the RS4 is cheaper. I'm going to go with the RS4. I was going to go with the TT, but... You know what? This might be the better option. Let me just... Uh, Actually, we'll have that. It looks interesting enough. Okay, so... 71,000. Take away 46,000. We have 25,000 credits on this car to spend. That's quite a lot, actually. This could be better than the Viper. It really could. If you can... Upgrade the twin turbos on this one massively. I feel, yeah, this um, this could be within a good shout of the Viper, I feel. Okay, let's go and do some upgrading. Now, let's just quickly see if we... Does this not come with turbos? I swear the RS4 came with turbos. I will just have to attach them. In fact, should we mix it up and go with a supercharger? Yeah, let's go with the supercharger on this one. Let's mix it up a bit. Be a bit different. There we go. 23,500 credits on this one. Engine swaps, anything? No, we could have the engine out of an R8, but that's a bit too much money. Could rear wheel drive swap it. Does that put it into C-Class? No. I've already said it put it in C-Class for a second there. Um, we could actually probably get away... Ooh, we could get away with them. Uh, da, da. Right, I'll come back to tyres in a minute. I do want to do something very major. Again, weight reduction is a big thing on this car because it weighs an absolute ton. Minus 2,350 on that. We have 21,000 credits to spend. We might run out of money on this one, you know? Or rather, run the money out. Da, da, da. You know what I mean. Might complete this for... Even cheaper. Uh, I do want to upgrade the suspension on this again. I'm going to go with full race because by the looks of it, we've got a ton of money on this. I did that wrong. About. Oops. 
this calculator, it, my phone, it's like a add-on. I don't think you can stretch it anymore either. So, yeah, it's not the best calculator in the world. I've got to be honest. I would quite like something with a bit bigger buttons because I'm messing up a little bit here. Uh, 10 grand for them. Yep, yeah, not a problem. We'll have you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is going to be pretty good, I feel. We're going to bore the supercharger out, I think, as well. Just to, yeah, why not? 5,400. There we go. And finally, we're out of money. <laughs> 1750 to go. The Viper had an extra 100 credits if it needed it, so we're going to go for them on this as well. Overall, this car cost roughly 71,100 credits. Not quite, but near or near about. So yeah, the Audi RS4 could be on for a good time. However, I've just remembered some of Actually, ah, the gearbox is alright. Uh, okay, so we can actually do some customising on this one. Uh, we'll soften that up a little bit. And yeah, it should be alright, this. I feel this could uh, potentially beat the Viper. But we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Uh, we used the not. No, not the... <laughs> oh, God. I hate it when you pick the wrong track on this game because the loading times are so utterly ridiculous. I would make a cut here, but I'm not. Yeah. I haven't got two monitors, unfortunately, yet. So Everything's done on one screen, hence why you hear a clicking and then a remote slamming down onto my desk when I start up a video, just because I haven't got two monitors. Um, I'm tempted to put the TV a bit more over to the left, and I could slot a very, very, like, cheap, like, 14-inch monitor in somewhere, but, yeah. Let's go with the south circuit, and let's see how well we do. Sorry about that. I couldn't think of anything to say during the loading times. So, can the Audi beat the Viper? Let's have a go. Oh, God, it's fast off the line. It really is fast off the line. I do like the Audi RS4, actually. Quite a lot. I do really like this car. Can we brake? Yes, the brakes are good. They're better than the Vipers, anyway. Oh, God. It feels extremely... Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's more fun than the Viper. I've got to be honest, the Viper was much more of a serious race car, which is weird to say when you're talking about an American super muscle car and the German super saloon. But, yeah, this is uh, it's a lot more slidey <laughs> than the Viper as well. Again, something you don't usually say. The brakes are absolutely fantastic. To drive, it's pretty fantastic as well. Of course, for the drive, you can just throw the power on instantly. The gear ratio is absolutely pinpoint on. The standard gearbox is really good. Usually, in these sort of four wheel drivey cars, the gearbox is absolutely atrociously long, but on this, it seems good. It really is good. Yeah. <laughs> the Audi is uh, very, very good. The Viper was very good. This happens to be very, very good as well. Yeah, okay, brake there. It's, I'm braking early because I've been used, so used to the Viper. Um, yeah, around the corners. The rear end does let go quite a lot, but it's four-wheel drive, so it comes back in almost instantly. You just It's fun. It really is fun. Um, This is much less of a serious race car, I feel. Even if it does beat the Viper, this does feel much more like it sort of tainted towards fun. Then the Viper did. I outbreak myself a little bit into there. It picks up speed so fast. I don't think, like I said, the brakes are pretty fantastic. The problem is it picks up so much speed. It's got the same problem, except not quite as big a scale as the Hennessy Venom does. But the Hennessy's brakes, it, they're pretty good. The problem with the Hennessy, though, is it just has so much speed and we're going to clunk it into a wall. <laughs> That's fantastic. Right, uh, and of course, because, uh, don't go in the pit lane, I, I wanted to just survey the damage, Th there is none, <laughs> because of course it's a German Audi. Okay, this is the lap that 
counts. Let's see if it can bring the beans. Okay, break there, because I don't think it could break any less than that. There we go. On the power straight away. Not a problem through all these corners. Full max power. Break into here. Second gear. Round. Not a problem again. It picks up speed so fast. The four-wheel drive system on this feels so good as well. I love the four-wheel drive cars when they're set up like this. They just feel so fun and forgiving as well. Perhaps I braked a little bit too much into that corner, but oh well. Locked up a little bit there as well, but it's not a huge concern. Round here, no problemo at all. Through here, onto this curb, break here, try not to run too wide onto that wall. I'm going to end up running off into this little um, rough area, and then it's just a complete run to the line. Can it beat 108? 108 is the time to beat. Oh, the Audi just does it, a 107.849. Yeah, this Audi is quick. It's fun as well. So... Uh, something very strange has happened to here today. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Something strange has happened here today. I've built two fantastic A-Class cars, which are probably better than the ones I'd spend uh, build if I didn't have a budget. Yeah. Uh, I do recommend trying these two cars out. I might throw them up on my store from, at some point. They're absolutely fantastic. I do recommend giving this a go, actually. It's quite a fun challenge. But anyway, friends, my name's been The Real Meal. And until next time, farewell.